All right, this is how bad Georgia mud is. Everybody talks about how, oh, you can get through there. This is just a, we're on a road. This is just a road, okay? But I'm actually stuck here. I'm in two-wheel drive. I've been coming up through here. I'm stuck. If I put this in drive, we are in two-wheel drive, okay? Look at that, okay? We are barely getting through this. Even if I go as slow as I can. That's how bad this Georgia mud is, okay? Look at that. Now, having two-wheel drive and being able to throw my locker on, it's two-wheel drive because that Taser Mini is going to double my traction. It's going to help me some, but it's still pushing all the mud in the front. But there's with a locker on. And that there is the beauty of having a rear locker available in two-wheel drive that that Taser Mini gives me. Now, I could also put this in four-wheel drive, which would probably be smart. But as you can see on this road, you can see how bad this road is. And it's just a road. But, I mean, that's this is Georgia mud. Peanut butter Georgia mud that clogs it all up. And I got to go all the way down there. And, like I said, I could put it in four-wheel drive, which I probably will. But we were pretty good up till we got around this corner. And then you can see I just been bogging and spinning, bogging and spinning. So I thought I'd make a quick video. But this mud here does not play around. Example, the difference between having it in two-wheel drive with traction control on and running and then kicking in a rear locker, giving me both wheels actually working like together, not one braking free, the other one braking free, braking free, torque transfer, all the stuff that you get. And you see the difference with the, uh, you know, the computer controlled LSD, which you saw in the beginning when we were stuck and we could still move, but barely. Once I kicked on that back locker, locked them both together, we could roll right out of here like no big deal. So that rear locker and two wheel drive because of that Taser Mini makes a big difference for me. Simple little stuff, but makes a big difference. All right, same road, same setup. Locker is off. We are in two-wheel drive high. And we're going to just show it here, but we are pushing this mud. Okay, we're pushing mud, pushing mud. Back wheels are rolling through. They're spinning like crazy back there. You can see it. Here's the other one. See them switch from one to the other. And you'll see that other. Look, we're stuck. Come on. See it switching from one wheel to the other, that's that traction control. But if we turn traction control off, turn off, I just turned off traction control, see what that does. We're chewing through. All right, now let's engage that rear locker. Rear locker engage, see what that's gonna do for us. Look at that. That rear locker got us unstuck when traction control could not. But look at where my front's going. It's pushing me all over here. Look at this. Look at look at this is doing to me on this road. I mean, we are officially we are stuck. Even with a it with the locker on. Let me show you that. We are officially technically you know we'd have to back up, but look at that got us stuck. That little bit of mud, it sunk us all the way over here to the side of the road because of the crown that's on this road. Look at it did. You know, it kicked us right down and over, slid us, it slid, look at my footprints even. Boom, slid us right down in there. We were coming through here. You can see we're in that little hole. We got the lockers, got as soon as we hit this high mound, dumped us right down in there. Dropped us right down like a stone. Now, technically, we are kind of wedged down in here and uh, we are buried down in. Now, like I said, this is where this stuff can get messy. Let's see what we can do here while we're still in two-wheel drive. See if we can. We're going to do it from the inside again just because I don't have the time. I got other stuff to do here. I don't have time to set up tripods. So let's see here if we can get out of this where you can see that back tire. Let's see here. Let's put her in drive. See what happens. We still have the rear lock. No, we are, as you can see here, we are dead. Let's try going backwards. Try to bring it forward. Try backing up again. Trying to get back to the road. Oh, we're making it. We're just getting there. 
Look at that, it's still sliding me over there. I still cannot get to the road because of that. That's how bad this mud is. How simple but effective that mud is at stopping you from being able to move even with a locker. Now what we're gonna do